we'd like to share with you some of our most treasured moments with Cooper when, when he came into, into our, our lives. lives. This is his origin story. Cooper was born in September 2015 in Kansas. His father is an AKC champion, tri-color show dog, and his mother is a sweet sable corgi. Cooper came from a reputable AKC registered breeder. She often enters her corgis to show dog competitions and takes pride in raising healthy and happy corgis. We applied to and were vetted by many breeders to make sure we were going to be responsible dog owners and be a good fit for our future puppy. It took us three years of research before feeling comfortable enough to commit to the idea of getting a corgi because we knew that owning a dog is a huge responsibility. And when we were finally ready to be dog parents, Cooper was ready for us too. He's excited. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Okay, we're going to show. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. Yeah. Hi. So cute. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, he keeps looking at my eyes. <laughs> Yeah. He's melting my heart. Maybe he smells food. Smell my finger. Oh, he's licking me! <laughs> Okay, so as much as I wanted to take him out and cuddle him here, we felt that Cooper was safer in his crate than with me holding him while we were driving home. It was a short ride anyway, so it's better that he's safe in his crate. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. Here, get in. Grass. The pee pee area, buddy. Some grass. I like biting. Come on, get on. Yeah, we'll take him some time. This grass actually didn't last that long. <laughs> He would pee and poo on it, but he also would roll on it and eat it, so it didn't work out for us. Come on, come on. Right here, buddy. No, 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 right here. Come on. Get up. This is yours. Most of you already know that Cooper is on a raw food diet, but for the first few days home with us, we fed him the same brand of kibble our breeder was feeding his litter. This helps with transitioning him smoothly into our home. We're hand feeding Cooper here because it gave us a chance to bond with each other and develop trust. It also helps prevent food aggression and resource guarding at an early age. He also developed a gentle bite when human hands are near his mouth. We still hand feed him his meals today.
I know hearing a puppy cry is heartbreaking, and it might seem cruel to leave a puppy alone like that, but that's actually part of their learning to be independent and not develop separation anxiety whenever their humans leave. As long as Cooper wasn't crying because of hunger, injury, or needing to pee or poop, and we absolutely know that he's crying because he doesn't want to be left alone, then it's safe to do this training. Once Cooper stopped crying, that's when we came back to say hi to him, letting him know that, hey, all is well, right? We'll always come back to you. This was so hard for us to do. But again, the goal is for him to build confidence and develop independence and not separation anxiety whenever we leave. After getting the green light from his vet, we finally gave Cooper his first raw meal. Here, he's eating his first chicken neck. This was five days after his arrival, and he hasn't eaten kibble ever since. Yay! Oh, oh. that's alright. Don't buy it. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Cooper. <laughs> so, Cooper had diarrhea the day after his first raw meal. And I have to admit, I honestly freaked out and I wanted him to go back to eating kibble. His diarrhea was black. Yeah, but we stuck with it and we knew it would pass. The black diarrhea was just his body removing the remaining processed gunk from his digestive tract as a result of eating kibble. Here, I was feeding him apples and sweet potato cubes to help soothe his digestive tract as they are a good source of fiber. They do contain sugar and starch though, so remember to feed in moderation. Ow! As you can see, he started rejecting the sweet potatoes and only wanted apples. That's pretty <laughs> funny. Ow! <laughs> After that day, Cooper's body was able to adjust and we continued feeding organic chicken. Chicken is a good transition protein when moving from kibble to raw. In the present day, he gets a variety of different proteins. Take it off.
Okay. 